Jealousy makes war upon the good it sees in someone else. It troubles that good and diminishes it. We all know there is nothing good about jealousy. Hello there beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shinri Tapishi. To all my returning subscribers, welcome. If you're new, you're in the right place. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. In this video of today, I'll be sharing with you six ways to kill jealousy. Number one, recognize that it needs to be killed. This means we have to recognize how serious it is. Jealousy is no small thing. We can see this in the definition itself. When you look at Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21, jealousy is among the things that we Christians we have been advised to stay away from. The other things are envy, quarreling, eagerness for lustful pleasure, hostility, idolatry. All of these things, we have been warned in the Bible to stay away from it. And when you look at this, you see jealousy is a whole package. It doesn't come alone. It comes with quarreling. It comes with envy because when you are jealous of someone, you wanted to be like that person. You feel what this person has. It was supposed to belong to you. So whenever jealousy raises its ugly heads in our hearts, we need to kill it immediately before we fall into other temptations that we were not supposed to. Jealousy is the work of the flesh, as we can see, and we need to kill it. When you look at Romans chapter 8, verse 7 to 8, For the sinful nature is always hostile to God. It never did obey God's law, and it never will. That's why those who are still under the control of their sinful nature can never please God. In a daily battle between the flesh and the spirit, the flesh needs to go and it's up to us to fight it, to try to fight and liberate ourselves by the grace of God. You can only fight with God. You need to take all of this to God for him to liberate you, for the flesh to go, in order for you to live a righteous life that will give glory to God and you will inherit the kingdom of God. Number two, expose it and call it what it is. Don't try to downplay it. Don't try to say I'm feeling a type of way. You all know how we are. There are times that when we are feeling some way, we don't want to acknowledge it. We start pretending. We start making as if it is not serious. You need to expose it. Call it what it is. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. Take no part in the wordless deeds of evil and darkness. Instead, rebuke and expose them. If you realize in your life that you are jealous in any aspect, expose it. Because if you don't expose it, if you don't acknowledge it, you will see that this will only build to resentment. It will lead to envy. It will lead to bitterness. At times, you might just be quarreling for no good reason. It will lead to eagerness for lustful pleasures. Expose it and call it what it is. Verse 13. But when the light shines on them, it becomes clear how evil these things are. You need to identify the areas in your life that you are jealous in and work on these areas. If you are still doubting yourself or if it's difficult for you to identify these areas, go to God in prayer. Ask him to show you, to expose the areas that you are jealous in. So you work on these areas. Because if you don't do this, you realize that you always be a bitter person in life. 
you will hardly be really happy because a jealous person is hardly happy with what he or she has because you're always thinking about something else you see someone you envy that person you have that eagerness for lustful pleasures all certain type of things you need to change and only god can do this for all of us go to him in prayers god is always there to answer us no matter the time he will give us the right answers and when god gives you the right answer take it work on it true change will only come to you when you identify and you acknowledge that yes these are my weak points these are the things i need to work on and you start working on those points deliberately number three take it to god and take it to him as early as possible you might see pictures on social media where someone is having his or her dream job some people have their dream homes and some people have their dream families and you might be tempted to be jealous you need to take it to god immediately and let him know tell him god daddy god i'm about to be jealous please help me not to be jealous when i see people having all these things for themselves for i know my own time is coming if it is full-blown jealousy you are dealing with, take it to God. God already knows, so there is nothing to hide from Him. Only God alone can help you. He is the only one that can save you from the spirit of jealousy. He is the only one that can do that. So you need to be open. You can write it down. If you see things you are jealous of, write the things down. And when you want to pray, you make sure you pray. And list everything to God because as you pour out your heart to him that's how you're going to feel relieved and God is going to answer your prayers don't hide anything from God because he is the only one that can save you and he is the only one who will save you from this work of the flesh from this jealousy that can lead to envy it can lead to bitterness it can lead to hostility take it to God and let him save you. Number four, pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. Jealousy is a liar. Jealousy will make you feel someone has something else better than you do. We need to be grateful for the people God has put in our life, the season we are in, even if we don't like it, for we know God has a purpose in our life. We need to be content with the way God molded us in our mother's womb so we don't look at some other people and we start to become jealous of their shapes, of all the things they have on their body. We have to know God made us the way he did for a purpose and we need to appreciate God always. You don't have to look at someone else and you become jealous of that person. For God has a purpose for that person's life, which is different from the purpose that God has for your own life. We need to identify that. Let's look at 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 to 18. Always be joyful. Keep on praying. No matter what happens, always be thankful. For this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. We have to know that we always have to be joyful, no matter the season in which we find ourselves in. For God is there and he will never leave us nor forsake us. He has a reason for everything. He has a purpose for our life. We need to always seek his face. We don't need to be jealous of other people. Only God and his grace can save all of us from the spirit of jealousy. Once you start appreciating everything God has given to you, once you are pleased, you are satisfied with what God has given to you, you will see that you will not find yourself being jealous of people. You will not see people on the road and start walking up to them and asking them some questions. Oh, I wish I could be you. How did you get this body shape? I want to have this shape. How did you do this? You need to be happy. 
with your own shape. Be content with what God has given you. For the purpose that God has for the other people's life is not the same that he has for your life. Let's always pray to God and take everything to him in prayers. No matter what is happening in our lives as Christians, what we should do is pray always, be thankful and rejoice in the Lord. Number five, pray to be able to rejoice with those who rejoice. Romans 12 verse 15. When others are happy, be happy with them. If they are sad, share their sorrow. It's very difficult at times to share when people are happy to share in their happiness because some people will be like, God, you know, I'm the one who deserves this thing that happened to this person more than the way he or she does. I worked hard for this thing. Oh Lord, but you blessed by this other person with it. At times, because of bitterness in some people and jealousy, they find it very difficult to rejoice with people when they are rejoicing. They say, oh, I can't rejoice with this person now. And they are so bitter, they don't rejoice. You need to pray. No matter the situation in which you find yourself in, rejoice with people when they rejoice. And when people are sad, share in their sorrow. Tell them comforting words. Make them to know you share in their sorrow. Make them to know you feel bad the same way they are feeling bad. I know this is difficult, but with the grace of God, you will be able to do this and you will see that you will feel happier in life. The spirit of jealousy or the temptation of being jealous will go very far away from you if you practice this because it is a command from the Bible. And as Christians, you are obliged to do it. So even if you don't feel like, pray to God, ask him to give you the grace to be able to rejoice with people when they are rejoicing. Even if you don't feel like to, you need to. Number six, guard your heart. Do you have that friend who just got married and this person can't seem to have any conversation? without saying how happy they are to be married and they know how it is your heart desire, how you really wish you were also married. Do you have that friend who has gotten an admission into a school and the friend knows it is your heart desire to also gain admission into that school and that person can't seem to have a conversation with you without saying how happy he is or she is to be in that school? You might need to give a distance. You need to guard your heart. You need to prevent the flesh from falling into temptation. So you have to give these people a distance for some time. Do you have that person or those people on social media that when you look at them or you look at their pictures, their videos, you are not yourself because of one thing or another? You can click on follow. You need to guard your heart. Don't put yourself into temptation. Don't commit a sin when you can control the situation. Let's look at Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart, for it affects everything you do. So you need to guard your heart in anything you do. If you want to do anything, you should know as you don't guard your heart, it's going to affect all areas of your life. And you don't want to be jealous. So you need to try to put everything that can tempt you to be jealous or that can make you to be jealous under control. You have to control yourself. If you find yourself being jealous, always know God is there for you to take it to him in prayers. Call it what it is and God alone is going to save you thank you so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share this video with everyone you know and encourage them to subscribe to my youtube channel and you watching if you haven't subscribed please do so stay blessed god loves you bye bye